Hi everyone, I'm Jamie. I'm a Fulbright researcher working in Chile. I teach computer science. And last Friday, I taught a workshop for English teachers how they can use Scratch to teach English as a second language. And this is going to be very short. I just want to show anyone who's teaching a second language how they can use Scratch, the programming environment designed by MIT, in their classroom. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use Scratch to create a dialogue between two characters. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the cat and delete it. And now I want two characters to speak with each other. In order to have two characters speak, I need two objects. So I'm going to have a conversation between a fish and a and me so I can I can use these tools to create new objects in my program in this case I'm uploading an ob, an image from my computer which is going to be me and I have this fish from the library and I can use this tool here to shrink my objects and now I have two characters let's make them speak one thing that is really important to explain to your class is that every program is going to start with an event. I need to tell the computer when to, when to execute these actions. And in this case, I want to start my program when the green flag is clicked. This green flag is going to start your program. It's like pressing start on a PlayStation. This is the very beginning. Um, and I'm in... I am in the fish object, so th this is the program that will control the actions of the fish. I'm next going to go to this block, this folder, the looks folder, and I'm going to say, say hello for two seconds. And I can say, I can type here and change this. So I can say, hello, Jamie. How are you? And I'm using this block that says say hello for two seconds because it's always good to be explicit about how long you want your objects to have this speech bubble. And now if I run my program, you can see that the fish has the thought bubble for two seconds. Now, if I want Jamie to respond to the fish, I can do the same thing. I can say when the green flag is clicked, let's have Jamie say, Hi fish, How I'm good. I want to go surfing. So now when I run my program, you can see that there's a problem. They're both speaking at the same time. And there's a couple different ways to do this, but if you're in an English classroom and you're using Scratch to teach students how to create a dialogue, let's make it simple. We can use this block in the control folder that says, wait one second. I can just type in here and say, I actually want to wait two seconds. And now we have our characters responding and speaking to each other. Cool. So I... Now I want my fish to respond a second time. What do I do? I just continue using these same blocks. So I'm going to say the fish is going to wait two seconds and he's going to say, but Jamie, there's too much trash in the water. We can't go surfing. And this is a little bit more text. So maybe I'll make the fish say this for four seconds. So now if I run my program, I can see that the, the two characters are speaking to each other. And I will show you in my next video how we can have students record their voices to create a audio dialogue between the two characters.